Today we'll be talking about terrain size. So to begin, I'm in a blank Unity 3D scene, and I'll go up to Game Object, 3D Object, Terrain. This will create a new terrain for our scene. While having the terrain object select from our hierarchy, and going to our inspector, choosing the last tab in the available tool options, we can scroll down to what's called the resolution section. It's here you can define your terrain width, length, and height. Right now we have a terrain at 500 by 500 with a terrain height limit of 600 meters. This is default to Unity. So let's change this to something a little bit smaller. We'll change it to maybe 200 meters by 200 meters. And maybe we'll set the terrain height limit to 25. The trains can be moved. However, trains cannot be rotated or scaled using the transform tools. So the height property for our train size is a dual purpose. If we were to paint some deformation on this train and then we were to paint a max height, you can see that we're being limited in height but we also have the ability to change that scale of something that doesn't reach height. So if we change this to 75 you'll see that not only our height limit has increased, but the deformations within this overall limit has increased as well. So the train height defines and actually changes deformations to a train that you've already made, but it also limits how high the deformations can go. So that's basically it for the sizing of a train. This was a quick one, but there's really not much to terrain sizing. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.